You okay there? Tim G5TM. Now, um, a lot of guys who work uh, POTA, SOTA, and all portable work, uh, when they, especially when they're on 40 meters, tend to take with them an NFED half wave. And they're really good antennas. And they tend to be about 20 meters long, 66 feet long, so quite, quite a long piece of wire. Fed at the end with a 49 to 1 or something like that. Now, um, a lot of guys who do that either run them as uh, inverted V, or inverted L, inverted L sloper. But a lot of them use um, as purely a sloper. So the antenna's fed low at one end and slopes up maybe to a pole or a tree or something on the other end. So what I thought I'd do is have a look at the effect of that slope on a wire like that. Um, what does it do to the radiation pattern? Now, before we look at it, we probably are aware that with a vertical antenna, uh, although you'd be hard pressed to find maybe uh, something to give you a 66 foot vertical, but let's just go with it, with, with the theory. With a vertical antenna, a straight vertical, fed just off the deck, say a foot off the deck, 30 centimeters or so with a, with a 49 to one or whatever you want to do it. Same with a quarter wave, by the way, with ground, ground radials. It's omnidirectional. So effectively you should get the same gain around the antenna and typically uh, a, a half wave or a, vert or a quarter wave vertical fed that near to the ground is likely to have around somewhere between minus four and a half and minus six db of of gain all right and that's all the way around there's no difference now with a sloper uh, that's going to be slightly different so let's see what the effects are so what i'll think i'll do is first of all go into my computer here I'm going to fire up MMANA and uh, we're going to look at this file here called Sloper. Now, first of all, before we go any further, let me show you the uh, geometry of it, if you like, what the Sloper looks like, if I can get this thing to behave. <laughs> here we go. There we are. So uh, at the bottom here, this little circle here we can see is the feed point. And that's where you feed it with a 49 to 1. And then at the top here, we've got this, we've got this 20 meters of wire going up to, in this case, it's 7 meters off the ground. So we've got a fiberglass pole or something like that to support the antenna. All right. So not very high, sloping at a quite a reasonable angle from 30 centimeters as a foot off the ground to about 7 meters at the top, which is about 23 feet off the ground. Okay. Now, Let's have a look then at the far field. So uh, we've got to calculate first of all. We go to 7.15. I just change that to zero to make sure at the top here that we've only got the lowest point at 30 centimeters off the ground, which is about a foot. And we'll press start. Now don't worry about the SWR. MMANA doesn't like any half wave fed, N fed half wave fed that isn't fed on the ground. I wouldn't worry about it. So there we are, 5962. Let's not worry about that for a minute. But what we are interested in is the far field plot. Now, um, before we look into the far field plot, let me show you the 3D version. So let's have a look at this. Now, what the 3D version actually shows us, if you look at the bottom left here, you'll see a little sky blue or magenta colored uh, line. That is the bottom of the antenna. So that's where the antenna is fed at the very bottom with the 49 to 1. And that uh, antenna goes all the way up to here as the sloper, okay? As, it, as you saw on the other piece of, of screen there. Now, what do these colours mean? Well, the reds and the pinks denote slightly higher gain. So uh, if you look on the chart on the left here, look where my cursor is, we're looking at around minus 1.5 to 0 dB. Our greens and yellows, however, show less gain. Minus three down to minus six, down towards minus 10 for the dark green, and then the blues is, is pretty much hopeless. Now, if you look at the, first of all, how the antenna looks, it's fed there and it goes up there. Okay, so we've got a lot more reds and pinks, that's the higher uh, gain, should we say, off the slope like this. Behind the slope, don't forget the antenna is going like this, so behind the slope, we've got more yellows and greens. So we have a little bit more of a bias in terms of gain. So if the, if the antenna is sloping like that, we've got more gain coming off that way than we have coming off the back of it, if you see what I mean. So let's have a look at this end. Now, if, for example, you're like a lot of the guys in the UK who use these antennas on SOTAs, on parks on the air, worldwide flora and fauna, that kind of thing, they tend to be quite happy to get contacts around a couple of hundred to 500 miles, probably less than a couple of hundred sometimes, depending on the skip. So they're quite happy to shoot their RF at quite high angles. 
So, for example, if we're looking, say, at about a 75 degree angle, which will give you a fairly short hop, you can see there's not a lot of difference in it. If you look at the diagram on, on this left hand side, this is the side where the antenna is fed. All right, so it'll be fed sort of down here. And if you look at the, the figure at the top, it says 5.3 dB. All right, as don't forget, the slope is the antenna is like this, cutting across here, like, like that. Okay, the bottom is there, the top is there. As we go towards the top, that figure starts to drop. And now we're going behind the slope. And look at that figure dropping 4.4, 4.3, 4.2, 4.1. So we're about one and a half dB just under different. And that's not a huge amount. That's why slopers work quite well when you're looking to shoot up at high angles. If we um, change that to 60 degrees, again, still a decent sort of elevation for short uh, for short hop stuff. Again, the side where the antenna is fed, we're looking at 4.8 and behind it, we're looking at 1.8. So we're now looking at around a two and a half to three dB difference. Okay, that's half an S unit. Um, can make a difference, but it's not too bad. Let's go to 45 degrees. This is where it starts to make a difference. As you can see, look, we're squashing in now the RF behind the slope, right? So again, uh, the side where we've got the antenna fed, we're looking at about yeah, around 4 dB, 3.5 to 4 dB behind it. Well, about 1 to minus, what's that, minus 1.8. So yeah, that's about 5, 6 dB difference there. So that's beginning to make a bit of a difference. What if we wanted then to say shoot for a bit of DX? Um, let's go for five degrees off the horizon, shall we? Now look at the difference. You can see a rather nasty null there. So again, uh, coming off the, the front of the slope, if you like, we've got a reasonable performance of minus 6.6, 6.8. Now that's about a dB down on a decent vertical. So not a deal breaker for working DX at all. But as we go up to the top and behind the slope, look at that figure, minus 10, minus 13, minus 19. So really, the lower the angle of takeoff, the greater the difference between the uh, the front of the slope, if you like, so if the, if the antenna's angled like that, the RF coming off it like that, off the actual slope itself, okay, going up on the slope, will be stronger than the other way around. A bit of a front to back situation if you want to look at it like that. So that's the difference. So to be honest with you, uh, if you're looking to, uh, let me go back onto full screen, if you're looking to work uh, people say uh, on a cup, on a less than 200 mile hop, you're shooting quite high angles of radiation up. Uh, you're going to have a decent uh, performance, by the way. It's equi equivalent to a dipole, probably, I would say, a low dipole. You'll be absolutely fine. The further you wanting this signal to go, then the greater the disparity between the front of the slope and the back of the slope. And that's the difference. Okay. So that's interesting, isn't it? Good old um, MMANA showing us a bit of a difference there with slopers. And uh, certainly uh, a very convenient way to put your antenna up. A lot of the Poto and Sota guys use the seven meter poles. It works well for them. And uh, certainly uh, a decent performance there. And uh, not too un omnidirectional. No, hang on. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it doesn't do too badly off the back of the slope. Certainly, if you want to shoot some RF up and get it down within a couple of hundred miles, you should be absolutely fine. Anyway, thanks for watching. Uh, there's another video coming up here. And if you want to subscribe, click over there. 7-3. We'll catch you again for another one. Bye-bye for now.